Let's go check out the rest of this area. Oh, it's a little baby! Look at it! Looks like it's hatching season. It's a little baby. Oh, hey, it's, um... Oh, whoops. whoops. I need to make sure I'm on the actual... Look at the little birdie babies! But I was just trying to take care of my family. Your family, Walter? Or yourself? Oh, burn! Why would they build a fountain for that reason? Or is this some kind of warning about it? What's over here? Looks like someone tied this ladder down. There's a note. Guys, quit moving my ladder, please. You're really cheesing me off. Signed, Gus. Okay. Oh! His egg- Her egg's about to hatch! Yay! That egg looks like it's having a little trouble hatching. Maybe I should... Uh-oh. Ow. Okay, well, let's not worry about that for right now. Instead, let's go up here and say hi to, um, to Vela's dad and the asshole bird man. Hi. My name's Shay. I'm from... out of town. Me too. I'm from Sugar Bunting. My name's Husker. This here is Walter. Walt Er. Sticking with that, are you? Did you say your name was Walter or Walt Er? My name was lightened to Walt Er by Harmony Lightbeard. <laughs> it's not a cult thing. It is a cult thing. No, wait. It's not a cult thing. Quit confusing me. <laughs> <laughs> I like the dad already. Oh, you mean that weird guy on that fake cloud over there? There's nothing fake about Harmony Lightbeard or his thrust. Mm. It has stitching holding it together and a big bow at the bottom. Didn't you notice? It's pretty obvious. Ha! <laughs> Get fucked, Colt! Have you guys seen a giant monster flying by here? Some people call him Mog Chakra. Not since he came to my village to destroy it. My daughter, Bella. Bought him off. Can you believe it? She was so brave. She taught us all a lesson that day. Your town wouldn't happen to be named Danger System 5, would it? <laughs> no, I think I mentioned I'm from Sugar Bunting. What kind of name is Danger System 5? It sounds like something from the kids action program. Huh. Yeah, something to entertain little kids, maybe. <sighs> God damn it. What's this little hut for? It's my wife's cloud shoe business. She was working hard to make money. Well, I just worked on giving it away. She's run off now, and I have no idea where. I think I might have seen your wife. Really? Where? Don't tell her. You know what, Walter? When she's ready to come back, she'll find you, okay? <sighs> You're right. Well, see you guys later. Take care, Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna show them this. Do you know this girl? Oh, I see you got one of our flyers. We're spreading them all around, hoping to find out where she went after she landed here. I told you everything I know. Uh, Snake. You guys know if it's dangerous to wake up a sleeping snake? Perfectly safe. But you gotta be smooth about it. Yes. Who knows what a startled snake might do. It's true. Schematics. Could either of you build me something if I had a detailed schematic of it? Son, if I were back in my kitchen, not only could I build it, it would be delicious. Unfortunately, we're not there. Uh, what about you? Could either of you build me something if... I guess not. Uh, corpse. How would you guys fix a broken robot? I usually fix brakes with a mixture of sugar water and eggs. Hmm, I don't think that would work here. If it's really hopeless, I would just mix it all up into a bacon dish with some apple preserves, call it a crumble, and serve it with ice cream. Husker, you are a genius. Hell yeah. I could go for a crumble right now. Spoon! You guys need a spoon for anything? No thanks. I have my one spoon back home. It's the only one I use. Oh, did you hear that loyalty? I think I'm going to cry. When are we going to find your brother, the knife? I have a crochet hook if anyone feels creative. My wife was the crafty one. Oh, I could have given her the crochet hidden hook. Ah, 
Okay. Good to know. Good to know. But let's go down here and say hi to whoever's down here. The one lady, girl, lady who's down here. Oh, hey, the mom's down here, too. Neat. <clears throat> let's see. What happened to this place? Haven't you ever been to the Maiden's Feast? I want to say no, but I'm worried the answer is yes. Um, do you know this guy? No one should ever have to go to a Maiden's Feast. And no one ever will again, if I can have anything to do with it. I'm cool with that. Man, they really, really did a 180 on the Maiden's Feast stuff. What exactly is a Maiden's Feast? Something we've always had to do. So we were told, and we believed it. We thought it a great honor. We were so happy for Bella. So proud of her. So foolish. Aww. So, Maiden's Feasts are bad then? My daughter taught us that when she fought the monster. You see, it didn't destroy the town. It just ran away. She was right the whole time, all those years. All those girls. For nothing. I'm not sure if you want to hear this, Morelia, but you're actually cheering me up right now. Yeah, because it means that she wasn't killed. <laughs> Let's see. Is there anything I can do to help? I just want to find my daughter. To beg her forgiveness and tell her how proud of her I am. Please, please be my mother. Oh, that's sad. What were you guys talking about when I walked up? I was just trying to cheer up this young lady here. But she's just starting to realize what a loser I am. You are not. Then why didn't Mog Chothra pick me? Well, uh, I'm not sure, honey. But you're not, I see. Maybe he tried to get you, but something came up. Um, who are you again? My name is Shay. I'm not from here. Listen, Twyla. It's time to move on. And do what? The Maiden's Feast is the only thing I've prepared for all my life. Well, I'm sure you're good at lots of other things. Like, uh, let me think. Not getting chosen for things. Fixing spaceships? No, we don't have many of those around here. Many? So you have some? Algebra. Nope. Not part of maiden's training. Swinging? You making fun of me? Oh, Jesus Christ. Not getting chosen for things? That's just mean. Well, at least your costume is cool. Oh, thanks. Made it myself. You made that stunning dress by yourself? That's amazing, Twyla. There we go, your fashion. That lot of good it did me. Do you think you could make me a costume? Huh? Oh, I think that would be a great thing for you to do, Twyla. Well, maybe if you had a pattern and some material, maybe I could whip something up. Okay, I'll get a pattern and the material and be right back. Okay, so I have a new thing to be able to do. Uh, let's throw this at them. Apparently, come on. Hey, do you guys know this girl? Oh, that's my beautiful daughter. We put those flyers out hoping to find her. She looks just like you. You remind me of her. I hope I can introduce you to her someday. I mean... I mean, they did meet her. Snake? Snack? Nah, I don't think that would wake up Mr. Huggy. Could you make me a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam costume? A what? Um, I don't know what that is. But no. Uh, corpse. Corpse. I don't want to depress them with my dead friend. So... Can you make me one of those? Oh, that's adorable. 
How old is your baby? Oh, it's for me. I need it a little bigger. Well, I suppose I could use this for a reference. There's my can-do gal. Just get me the material you want for your giant baby onesie and we're good to go. Okay. It's not a... Oh, never mind. Be right back with the material. Okay, so I need a material and then I'll be able to have the anti-radiation suit. Grabbing Gary. This button only works on grabbing Gary. I wonder where he is. I don't think they need a spoon right now. Everybody does, eventually. I mean, the spoon is very useful as an implement. Come on. Anybody need a crochet hook? Never learned how to crochet. Probably just be terrible at it. Alright, so that's a done. Let's see. Look at the babies! Looks like it's hatching season. Alright, let's check out the other area over here. Hmm. Oh, hey! hey you wanna buy a cupcake? Oh, hey! That's neat. It's a fundraiser. For a good cause. Tell him, Rocky. Hi, I'm Shay. Want a cupcake, Shay? I want a cupcake. Great. Got any money? How about a trade? I could give you something. Sorry, but there's only one good thing I learned from Harmony Lightbeard, and it's that I don't need objects. I need money. Uh, let's see. What's the special cause? We're raising money for an awareness campaign about the missing sister. And about the lies of the Maiden's Feast system. Yeah, cupcakes against lies. I'm glad that they decided to just bring all of the, um, all of... Uh, Vela's family here, because I'm just assuming we're never going to go back to sugar bunting. What exactly are the lies of the Maiden's Feast system? They told us that we had to offer Maidens as a sacrifice to save our village. And we just went along with it, because that's how it's always been done. Yeah, us too. But we were all lied to. Yes. Yes, we were. See, Rocky? I told you it'd be easy to convince people. Damn. Why is it only maidens who are sacrificed? Great question. Thank you. We have a lot of questions just like that. So you're going to get rid of the whole system? One cupcake at a time. Each one is like a question. We go from town to town, selling cupcakes, asking questions. Until it's like a giant snowball of cupcakes and questions. Rolling on and on and getting bigger and... Until it's big enough to take down a whole mog itself. Wow. Hell yeah. yeah. But, you know, we gotta start small. Damn straight. Where are your parents? Well, my dad is in my mom's cloud shoe hut, getting parenting lessons from Rocky's old man. And my mom's trying to cheer up another victim of the maiden feast we met. A girl my sister's age. And I'm not supposed to tell anyone where my mom is, but I know. Let's just say she's catching dinner. I mean, she was the little... Good luck with the bake sale. Missing persons awareness campaign and revolution by way of cupcakes. That's what I said. Gazuntite. I would have just been like, Gazuntite. So I need money to get a cupcake. Let's go talk to... Is he... Oh, the old man's just sparring with the kid. That's funny. That's cute. Okay, is there anything special here? Say that. Do you guys know any place around here to get some money? Oh, I have lots of money. My dad says it's important to give it away. You want some? Well, just enough to buy a cupcake. Here you go. Thanks. Why do you have so much? gives it to me to give to Harmony, but I know Harmony likes to stay light, so I keep most of it myself to lighten his burden. It'll never hold up in court. Somehow, I think you're going to end up the hero of your family. Hell yeah. I know, because I'm a warrior. Sure, we'll go with that. Why are you beating up this little kid? Not teaching him how to fight. I'm on lesson five. 
You've been here six hours, you're only on less than five? God damn, this kid learns fast. What are you guys doing all the way out here? We needed to find a place far away from everybody. Some people don't like to see an old man beating up on a little kid. Or the other way around. Uh-huh. Sure. Did you guys see that bake sale over there? Yep. Frosted them cakes myself. Passed his gun in the way. Yeah. Almost out of the red stuff. I got enough for one more cake. I better save it. I want to make sure I have enough to make one for Bella when we find her. That's but that I didn't realize her sta his staff was um did that. That's pretty dope. You frosted all of those cupcakes by yourself? Can't help it. I see a blank cupcake, I just have to frost it. I'm against this whole baker thing, but if we're gonna do it, then I'm gonna be the best at it. Like me with fighting! Do you really need that cane? You seem pretty light on your feet. Well, I do seem to have a lot more get up and go now that Bella's inspired me. Seeing her kick that fog right in its soft bits really put the fight back in my bones. But I still need the cane. Where to keep my frost. Okay, back to your lessons. On your feet, soldier. I am! Alright. Oh. Let's rub things at him. Uh, money. Hey, what kind of money is this? Uh, let's see. You. Do you know this girl? That's my granddaughter. Only one in this family that's got any sense. Poor guts. I like the way she smells. Okay, that's not a statement I need to do. Her, the, your, her grandfather to say. Did you see that big snake back in the forest? Nope. I saw the warning sign and stayed away. Didn't you? Uh, yeah. Me too. Nope, it's in my pocket. I don't think that would help me get this hypercam made. Of course. Can you train my robot to fight? Sorry, I only work with flesh and blood. Sometimes sugar, eggs, and flour. Just to be clear, some of that is for fighting, some for baking. I don't mix all that together. Duly noted, sir. Spoon! You need a talking spoon? In my day, spoons didn't talk. I bet they did. And you just never listened. Okay, sassy spoon. Crochet. Maybe you would fight better with a crochet hook. We actually started with chopsticks. We only just graduated up to the big staff. It's harder to poke myself in the eye with this. Oof. Oh no. That's a fear of mine. Drop. I've... That's a fear of mine. I don't think poking holes in it will do anyone any good. Alright, so we're back here. I have a. I have some money now. So let's go talk to these two. Let's do this first. Is this one of your materials? Great, we've got one. May I ask if you heard about us at work, home, from a friend, or other? Uh, other. Alrighty, and thanks for taking our survey. Okay. Fundraiser. Uh, snake. You guys know much about snakes? Oh, sure. Snakes are easy. You just roll the dough together between your palms, and then draw a face on one end. Or are you trying to make them out of marzipan? Never mind. Alright. Tell him, Rocky. They've got red frosting! Yes! Oh, I don't think that would help me get this hypercam made. Uh, corpse. Anyone here know how to fix robots? <coughs> yeah, with wires and stuff. Is it plugged in? Electric stuff needs to be plugged in. Oh, mm -hmm. that's true. We'll be right here. All right, spoon. Want to trade a spoon for a cupcake? Sir, no trades. I wouldn't have done it, spoon. Just testing. <sighs> Who needs a crochet hook? My mom needs a hook, but not that kind. Also, I can't tell anybody why. Yeah. All right, well, time to give you some money. Hey, can I buy one of those cupcakes? I got money. Here's your cupcake. The red frosting is special. It was her favorite kind. Well, actually, it's my favorite kind. But I never let her have any before. And now she's gone. So now I wish I could. Hey, Rocky, it's okay. We're going to find her. 
You know, she's probably out beating up some poor mog right now. That Damn straight. That's definitely true. Damn straight. Uh, thanks for the cupcake. Aw, poor Rocky. This guy is weirding me out. Yeah, let's just... About this cupcake. No refunds. This is a fundraiser. If you don't want it, I'm sure you can find someone who does. It has red frosting on it. Alright, we'll figure it out. Old man. I got you now. Get fucked, kid. Get fucked, kid. Hey, you wanna frost this cupcake? You blind! It already has frosting on it. I'll eat it. Alright, so can I eat the frosting? I don't like to eat things with faces. So I can't frost it. So I need to make a cupcake that doesn't have fro that has frosting on it. I can't double up on things. So we'll figure it out. Uh... Well, I have one more path I haven't taken yet. And that would be to go f talk to Gus, I think his name was. Well, let's go up here first. We'll go up here first. Uh, cupcake. Anybody want a cupcake? Oh, thanks, but I can't. Something about eating my daughter's face. Ah, oh, Husker. That's the best part. In fact, that's the only part I eat. I'm off gluten. That's gross, but hey, now I can go back and, like, have it frosted by a uh, person. But first, let's go over here. Um, I didn't realize that that was going to happen. Uh, here you go. Cupcake. Got a cupcake here. Oh, did you buy one of our cupcakes? Thank you so much. Alright, that's all there was. So now I can go back to the grandpa. I didn't expect to be going back to the grandpa so soon. But, alright. Oh. oh man. This place is no there we go. Much easier. Uh oh. There we go. I got you now. Get fucked, kid. Uh, hey. Hey, wanna frost this? Oh, darn. Why'd I go and do that? Now I don't have any frosting left to make a cupcake for Bella. You can give her this one. Okay. Okay. I can't find any frosting for this cane. Sorry. Well, keep looking, quitter. Okay. Do we give up when the going gets tough? No, sir. That's right, we don't. I mean, fair. All right, let's go. Let's go. Yo, kids. Check out the sick cane I got. I'm gonna beat your asses with it. Ah! Cupcakes. Can you refill this cane with frosting? Hey, that's my grandpa's cane. Yeah, he sent me to get it filled. Oh wow! We need to go back to sugar bunting to get more after we sell these cupcakes, and I'm coming with you. That sounds. Ah, oh, I'm glad that they're being. Fr I'm glad that they became fressies. I'm glad they became bestie friends. I'm well, no, 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 no. That's all I meant to do. God. I'm glad they became bestie friends. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Yo, check out. I don't want them to know I got that old guy's cane. I'm not sure how they'd feel about that. Uh oh. All right. Hey, got a cane. I don't think I should cane that. I don't think I should cane that. Cane her! Oh no! That's a bad phrasing. Let's climb up. And go over to the tree. Can't really deal with the egg just yet. Take us! Take us down! We are in our prime! Eat our sweet reward! Wait, wait, wait. I'm not comfortable. A little eat our sacred how about we just skip that line okay 
Oh, no, were they about to say eat the sacred fruit? Oh. Hey, are you those guards who stole Alex's radiation-proof curtains? Without admitting any wrongdoing, what's it to ya? If you give me back those robes, I promise Alex won't press charges. First of all, we didn't steal anything. Secondly, we're naked under here, so no way you're getting our robes. If you want them, you're gonna have to fight us for them. I'll fight you for those robes, no problem. I need them to help my mom. Oh, that's so sweet. He wants to help his mother. And he's willing to beat us up with a stick to do it. No, I'm not going to beat anybody up. But I will easily disarm the both of you. I've completed several fencing missions with my yarn pals. So if you have another stick handy... We don't have any fencing sticks handy, Mr. Fancy. But if you find one, feel free to come back and try to take our robes from us. Well, time to beat you with a grandpa's cane. I'm going to get a stick. And then, we're going to fight for those robes. <laughs> Why don't you go get some yarn instead? <laughs> yeah, we'd love to meet one of your friends. <laughs> How- wait, both of you are blind. How the hell did you get up here? Are you guys looking for a tree to talk to? Because I saw one down in the forest that might actually talk back. Oh, no thanks. We know that weirdo. We're here because this is the tree with the fruit. The fruit, that is, the answer. That was really convincing, Courtney. Thanks. I did the pause just like you said. Oh. What are you guys doing up here? We are the former dead-eyed druids. Misled and betrayed by a false prophet, we have come to seek wisdom from the Tree of Answers. Why do you think this tree has answers? Okay, honestly, it wasn't our first choice. We really came up here because we heard about this guru of lightness that a lot of people were following. But apparently he's out of commission. So we remembered this fruit. And since it was the answer to the riddle of Yorn, maybe it's the answer to everything. Just because the fruit was the answer to one riddle. Too many questions. This is a matter of faith. I literally... Also, we really need this to work, because we've run out of stuff to believe in. Yeah, we're kind of at the end of our rope. What about believe- Yeah, that's what the dead eye god said. I mean, you could just- Wait, are we speaking as us? Have you guys seen this girl? Hey, that's- Uh, I mean, that's the sound of paper. Yep, definitely the sound of paper. Oh, okay, so they're not actually I blind. I figured. I figured. You two know much about handling snakes? No, but we were thinking of giving it a try if this whole tree worship thing doesn't work out. Maybe we're the child. Ah, uh, let's see. Bed. Hey, can you guys read an engineering blueprint? That's just what the dead eye god asked us. He of all people should know that we're blind. But you're not, because you saw them. But you're not blind. Here's a corpse. Hey, can you guys fix broken robots? Um, didn't we mention we're blind? I'm not sure. Did you? Probably. We say it a lot. But you're not actually blind. The... You guys want to worship my spoon? He's pretty smart. Hey, we don't just worship every shiny object that passes by, you know. But if this tree thing doesn't work out, I'd give it a shot. You could certainly do worse. Glory to the spoon! Oh. I've got a crochet. <sighs> Get ready to fight. Come on. Oh, is that how you make your yarn, pals? That come back with a real weapon. Okay. Well, before that, I'm gonna go down here. Not good. And see who's down here. No one, no one this way. But I think there's someone else on the branch. Drinking noises. That sounds gross. Oh, hey, Gus. How's the fruit? It's a little on the tangy side, to be honest, but you know, the game is always sweetest to the hunter. 
First off, you're, I've just realized your beard is made of feathers, and what the hell is that? And i guessing I'm gonna need it. So, what kind of hunter are you? I've been trying to get this fruit all day, but I had some issues. And, and I almost gave up. But I went to the arcade, and beat my own high score on three hyper crypt, and I was like, if I can do that, I can do anything! You know? No. Of course. Everyone knows video games are good for your self-esteem. What's that thing you're sticking in the fruit? Oh, this little tapper thing? That's so I can skip all the skin and fiber and just drink the juice right away. Juice, you know? That way all the phytonutrients and stuff get in your bloodstream faster. For when you want to get healthy in a big hurry, man. But I put the fruit and the skin are so delicious. What's the big healthy rush? Well, recently I was all hung up on my own under on my underlying issues, and I had some time to think. And then this girl hit me. I, I mean, uh, it, it hit me. I need to turn my life around. Then I got that high score at the arcade, and now here I am, the king of health. Sure. So why are you going to turn your life around? Well, at first it was because of this girl McGee. I imagined her cheering me on through each level in 3D hypercrypt. But then when I reached the end, I realized McGee doesn't care about 3D hypercrypt. She doesn't play video games. No, she thinks the 3D is a gimmick. She only plays the original. Ha! <laughs> Get fucked. What I'm saying is that the high score, the juice, it's okay if it's just for me. Ah, oh, God, you are spilling so much. I'm doing this to, uh, to impress anybody, you know? That's good. So how are you going to turn your life around? Well, like, what's the next step from here? Uh, probably go back to the arcade, you know, just look for another sign. Lots of other high scores to beat, man. Okay. Drinking all that juice, don't you have to use the bathroom a lot? I'll let you in on a little secret. When you live in the clouds, you're never very far from a bathroom. Oh, there are people down below. I was just down below. Hey, watch the skies, man. Hey, can I borrow that little fruit tapper? The acid or something and the fruit is messing with the coating on this thing and giving it a weird taste. Uh, you can have it. I'll just squeeze it out after all. Thanks. Don't worry. I, I don't have a cold or anything. I'll let you get back to your juice. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so I now have a little tapper. And I don't need to talk. Actually, no. Let's go through the motions with this, uh, this a little more. I don't want to fight this guy. I do. Let's go. Do you know this girl? Oh yeah, she tried to kill me. Wow, really? Yeah, basically. Snake. Do you know where there's a good pet hospital around here for my snake? Uh, jeez, sorry man. No. He's just all tuckered out. I don't think that would help me get this hypercam made. Do you know how to revitalize a dead robot? I'd probably give it some juice. But um, he seems to have all the implements he needs. Need something to poke holes in the fruit? Uh, I got that covered. Thanks. Well, uh, can I? Have... If I take one of these, please spread the word. We might just save some lives here, man. So I have a, I have another peach. All right, good to know. All right, climb back up and let's go beat the crap out of some fake blind people. That sounded really, that sounded really, um, bad out of context. Uh, well, we'll show them the tapper first. I have a tool that lets me get juice from the fruit. We both have two. They're called hands? Burn! Um, ba, ba. You guys want some fruit? We can't eat it now that we worship it. At least we think that's one of the rules. We're still kind of making it up as we go. I don't know. It's the tree of forbidden knowledge. Uh, time to beat you up. Okay, yarn boy. Enough is enough. You're lucky she's blind, kid. I didn't miss him because I'm blind, Courtney. I missed him because. I can see. I've been I've been pretending to be blind all these years. No, really? I never really had
had the faith like you, Courtney. But I don't have the faith, Dawn. I was pretending too, so I could be like you. What? You're not blind? No. In fact, I've been stealing and selling artifacts from the pyramid to save up money to get out of this town. <laughs> Me too! I would have left long ago, but I didn't want to leave you here. I know how much being a dead-eyed druid meant to you. I haven't wanted to be a druid for years. I want to go to school and study hotel management. I want to study graphic design and start a band. Let's do it. Let's just go right now. Right now. Okay, can I can I have your can I have your curtains, but please? What about our quest to find something to believe in? I did. How about you? Ah. Oh, okay. That works. That works. Well, that's what I get for learning defense with candy canes. We still got what I needed, which was the materials. Better take these before those druids get cold and come back. They were just they really were just stark raving naked under there. Were the, weren't they? Okay. Well, I have the materials I need. So I can go back down here. Uh let's let's go to the tapper. Let's go. Let's go talk to these guys and see if they have anything to say with the tapper and the clothes. I don't want to enrobe them. Anybody want some fruit? No, I'm not really feeling peachy. He's just always like this. Hey, hearty har har. Uh, I guess I lost the cane. I got this cool tapper. Helps you get the juice out of fruit. But if you did that, you wouldn't get any of the fiber or the nutrients in the skin. Yeah. What kind of nut would do that? Um, I don't know. Y y you got me. Got him. Well, let's see what they'd say about things. I actually like hearing what people have to say about all the items I have. I don't want to enrobe. Red frosting cupcakes. I'm going to save my juice for a higher purpose. Have fun, Bellin. Hey, this guy Gus gave me this little tap of thing. Who's Gus? Oh, he's this local guy. Kind of has the hot. Good kid. Hygiene demerits, though. I would sanitize that tapper before you use it, by the way. That's fair. Well, let's go talk to them real quick. Let's go talk to them real quick. Say that. <laughs> Why are you beating up this little kid? Let's see. Not teaching him how to fight. I'm on my Okay, okay. It's the same thing. He just doesn't have the I don't want to enrobe that. Okay. How about some delicious fruit? I'll have some. You're in training. No snacks. No. Yeah. And the tapper? I don't think I can tap that. I mean, you probably could, just not in that way. Alright, uh, where we go? Keep running, Shay. Uh, now we have one more person to go talk to. Perfect. This will give me one of the things I need. But first, I don't think I can tap that. Uh, I want some fruit. I'm going to save my juice for a higher purpose. There's the material. Huh. Never seen this kind of material before. Can you sew it? Shouldn't be a problem. That's the spirit. Well, only one thing to do now. Okay, that's pretty Hola. dope. Okay, that's pretty dope. Don't worry. I'll be right back. Come on, Vera. Oh. Oh, I thought my teenager was dramatic. <laughs> Great, but what's with all the feathers? Just because I was working off a pattern doesn't mean I can't inject a little personal style, does it? Tia, you are an incredible talent. Mm -hmm. All right, got the suit done. <clears throat> well, you guys look happy. Oh, I just love talking to this girl. Reminds me so much of my Bella. Don't worry, Mrs. Tartine. We're gonna find her, okay? I'll let you get back to your conversation. 
All right, perfect. All right, that's solid. Um, now I need to figure out how I can. Wait. Uh, now I need to help see if I can figure out how to help this dude. Well, see you later. <laughs> so I. Well, let's try this again. Uh, let's see. I can't do that from here. I can't do that from here. Have you seen this girl? I think that was the girl who broke my ladder. Don't know how I know, just something not light about her. Fair enough. Want some fruit? I can't do that from here. I can't do that from here. Hey, I'm going to toss a snake up there. You can use it to climb down. You will do nothing of the kind. Don't worry, it's asleep. I'm warning you. Uh. I can't do that from here. I can't do that from here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, spoon. You may look like an ice cream sundae, but I don't think that will work. Would it help if I threw you a crochet hook? Please, I try to avoid useless possessions. <laughs> All right, that's not gonna work. Um, untie it. I can't do that from here. For there. Hello. Go get help. I can't leave Brother Lightbeard's side, or his underneath, or whatever. Okay, fine. Let's give that not another. Just tug on different parts. Gotcha. Rats. That was a bad idea. Uh, what does it look like now? Well, uh... Like a whole new terrible knot. Okay, um... Is there... Is there... Did you try to describe that knot to me? Uh... Try to get that knot another time. Okay, tug different parts. Just tug on different parts. Yep. I guess. Now it's even more naughty. Okay. Uh, what does it look like now? Well, uh, like a whole new terrible knot. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get off this. I'm going to. Take the take this fucking crochet. Hey, maybe a hook would help. I've already hooked. That's not what the hook's for, you dumbass, but whatever. You know what? I'm just gonna go down here and see with any of the new stuff I have if it's possible for me to figure out some more stuff to do. Uh let's see. Hey Curtis. Check out this sick I'm suit. Give this to Alex. You want a fruit? Want some fruit? From that big tree in Mariloft? No thanks. I had some earlier. Too tangy for my tastes. Alright, uh, how about this? I don't think I can tap that. I already has the flyer. Uh, I can't really give him anything else. Home metallurgy kit. Make money without leaving your home. That's the new plan, man. I'm cashing in, selling out. Just until I get some money saved, of course. You know, then I'm gonna go right back to doing that whole integrity thing. Uh, totally, for sure. Oh, you're useless right now. Uh, let's see. Let's go back over here. Let's talk to the tree again. Maybe I can use that tapper thing to help, um, the mare. But first... I should give this radiation suit to Alex. So we can restart his shit. Want some fruit to hold in your branches? Hey, not all of us want to bear fruit, okay? Many of us are happy with our decision not to have any fruit, so don't make any assumptions, please. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry. Fair enough. No, I'm sorry. It's just that my parents always bring it up, you know? I am much more con uh, congenial with this person than the actual guy, other guy. <gasps> I wonder if I could use this tapper to get sap out of that tree. I dare you. My thick sap has clogged bigger tappers than yours. Stab you in the eye. Let's go. Hey, do you know this girl? Oh, God. That face. The memories. You're every bit as cruel as her, aren't you? Nope, I did not mean to do that. Uh, do you want a snake? Need a snake to decorate your branches? No, sir. I just took out my last squatter a month ago. 
we like to keep the snakes moving around? Keeps the lumberjack guessing. I mean, he's not a lumberjack anymore, so you're good. He's too sleepy to read right now. Any idea how to make a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam? No, but I'm impressed your first step is asking that question and not cut down a tree. Uh, do you want a corpse? Excuse me, but my little friend has kind of died, and I, I was wondering if you could help. Sorry, I'm just a tree. I can't bring back the dead. Can you somehow collect his vomit? Only create life out of nothing but sun and water and dirt and air. I mean, that's but Can you collect somehow collect his vomit? Probably. I just need to get a bucket. Um, I'm just I'm just seeing what he says with this with all these items. Hey, spoon. Do you think you could make this tree choke and bark? Impossible, sir. You know I've been developed with unchokable technology. Damn. Uh, crochet? That wouldn't help. Alright, let's head back to Shell Mound. Uh, hey. Do you want this? Need a hook? Sure do. Oh, uh, look, kid. That's a nice hook, but... I'm not fishing for minnows, you know. What? This is a great hook. I'll... I'll prove it to you. Sure, kid. So how do I prove it? I wonder if I could bend this spoon into a fish hook. I hope you're kidding, sir. Um, corpse. I don't think she can fix dead hexapels. Yeah, I'm too busy relaxing. For sure. You want a plan? Do you know how to make something from a schematic drawing? Yes. Just as long as it's a drawing of shoes. Damn. My one weakness. You want a snake? Do you know how to wake up a sleeping snake? Uh, loud noises, maybe? Bear. Uh, what about you? Have you seen this girl? Hey, that's the girl who found a way off of Mariloft for all of us. Really great kid. I hope I get to thank her someday. Aw. I'm sure you will. I don't think that will help her fish. I'm going to save my juice for a higher purpose. Stop saying that. That's a weird thing to say. 